Mr. Mr. Mike, Larry O'Brien, it's his sight. Hit that subscribe bell. Don't forget to like it. Detroit Piston, Piston Mike. You know what time it is. You here for the update? Piston Mike, keep you informed. Make sure your substrate. So you don't ever go without the info that you need. Let's see the Pistons rise. Detroit Basketball. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Piston Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't cost anything, not even a nickel or a dime. Shout out to Alex for always keeping me updated. Click the link in the description for your cool Piston gear. We're going to talk about something interesting. So, Bleacher Report suggests that the Detroit Pistons might trade for one of these three players. And no other than we're going to get into the top of number one, Lonzo Ball. They said Lonzo Ball. Because it doesn't seem like Ivy or Asar Thompson is the best likely fit. And I saw, I mean, Alonzo Ball, what, which is kind of true, but not because Alonzo is kind of similar to Cade. Yes, he's a little bit more athletic, um, and he can play without the ball a little bit better. And he's a really great shooter. He shot 42% from three and 42% from the field. Um, 13 points, six rebounds, a phenomenal point guard. Um, he is, you know, um, he did play for the Pelicans. He is familiar with Fred Benson. He helped him on his jump shot a lot. So, um, do I like Lonzo? Yes, but... You know, you spend about, what, two years off the court? Like, nah, I'm cool, man. Unless the Bulls got some draft assets, then I'd be cool taking on. But other than that, I'm I'm all the way good. These other two dudes are way better, um, in my opinion. And they way better. Um, they got positions that we actually need, um, in my opinion. I like um, Michael Porter Jr. is number two. I think he's got two years, $75 million on this contract left. Um, free agent in 2027, 16 points a game, seven rebounds, shoot 46% from the field, 42%, I mean 40% from three. Um, absolute sniper. Um, just a guy who can absolutely kill um, from three, six foot 10, 218, um, small forward, power forward. I feel bad for what happened, a couple of situations that happened with his brother off the court, um, which is crazy. Um, but, yeah, Michael Porter Jr. would definitely be a fit. Um, imagine him being a power forward. You know, we got, um, we got Cade, we got Ivy, then we got um, Asar, we got... Um, How I do this, we got Cade, we got Ivy, we got a Sar at the three, and then um, at the starting future power four, we got um, Michael Porter Jr. He's 26 years old, so he's not that old either. Um, you know, he's part of the timeline, and by the time he that contract's in, when he's 28, I think he's going to only probably get only 20 to 25 million dollars in my opinion that's how much i think he's worth i don't know if he's worth more than that um uh, this is my humble opinion but last but not least um the guy who we are talking about last but not least is john collins and um, for a good reason, 16 points, eight rebounds a game. Shoot, I believe he shoots about 35, 36% from three, um, 40% from the field, and about 80% from the line. He is a guy who, to me, he's 27 years old. He's got $26 million on both of his contract until 2027. Um, he is a guy, to me, that I really liked. Um, he's six foot nine with a six foot eleven wingspan. Um, minor day power forward that I really would like. I, I really would like to see him next to Jalen Darren. I think that could be a nasty front court um, duo. But um, 
John Collins I do like a lot. And people might not sleep on him. His production might not be as much as his, as his uh, pay. But one thing I would say is, is that I, the one thing I like about him is that, um, hmm, he'll probably come with draft assets. Um, he will probably come with draft assets from Danny Ames. Danny Ames may be likely to give up a future first, you know, with him in a couple of seconds because, um, we're taking on contracts. I don't know what the Denver Nuggets would do or the Bulls would, but these are all three is taking on higher salary to help them, to help all three of these teams with salary cap relief. And eventually they're going to have to trade. Um, they're going to trade John Collins. And I think they're going to have to trade Michael Porter Jr. And, um, I don't really think it's going to be for that much. I think it's going to be for Sally Cap Relief and people who you can put around um, Murray and um, Jokic. So that's in my humble opinion. Who knows um, what anybody has up their sleeve, but we will see. Um, it's your boy, Pistol Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't cost you anything, not even nickel or dime. Shout out to Ella for always keeping me updated. I love y'all. I am out. Have a blessed night. Y'all stay safe out here in this crazy, traumatic world. For all my people watching in Florida, evacuate immediately. It's a Category 5. Don't be stupid and stay. Y'all, come on, man. I'm out. Peace. Let's go. Detroit Ballin', it's part of the culture. It's a deep base, the trade you in the poster. You know the facts, so while we test the roaster. Killing your haze, deadly handles our exposure, cool composure. Team stack to win the chip, act like I ain't told you. First round tick, had him sick. K Cunningham, pass John to Duncan, man. I don't know about y'all, but we come to I'm a Roger Grant, they all jumping in. Pissy Mike, we take your flight. Click like and subscribe, we can keep you right. Yeah, it's Pissy Mike.